We all have those thoughts, whether we admit it or not. We see someone on the street corner with a cardboard sign asking for help or money. And we think, well, he looks healthy. Why can't he get some basic job and get off the streets? Like maybe you don't see it, but many of the people I've talked to, they feel terrible about themselves. Mm. You know, they realize what people say about them, how they're looked at. That wasn't their dream when they were five years old. There may be many reasons why he's standing there, but putting a roof over your head in this area will take more than a basic job. For example, for a family of four, a two-bedroom home in Potter County will require a family income of $20.20 an hour for a 40-hour week. That means even if both parents work, they must make at least $10 an hour. What do we do? Do we, do we try something like, uh, instead of just saying, hey, let's raise the minimum wage, let's do wage subsidies instead? Which is like the minimum wage, but it's funded more like the earned income tax credit program, mm -hmm. where it is you say, okay, if you're you know, a person of said age, it costs this much to live in this particular area, you're gainfully employed, we're going to pay you a subsidy on top of your wage of X dollars per hour. If that family only has one breadwinner and the minimum wage is seven twenty-five an hour, something has to give. Even if somebody walks up and says, here's your job and here's your house and here's your car, they're still going to have some pretty serious challenges. Perhaps it's a smaller home or apartment, but even then, the minimum wage salary is only $1,160 a month. The median gross rent in Amarillo is $828 a month. Food, electricity, water, childcare, clothes? Where do you cut back? Something is always going to come up, but we have, we have hopes that our women have learned to live life on life's terms. According to the website City Data, the median household income in Amarillo is just over $51,000 a year. The median price for a condo or home is $151,000. The payment for that home is $970 a month. And when you are on the street, getting and keeping that job is tougher than you might think. It's hard, you know, if you're on the streets and then you got a job that comes up, but where are you gonna go bathe? Where are you gonna, you know, certain steps like that, you know? And where's, if you don't have a phone because it got stolen, I mean, how are they gonna get a hold of you except to go to look for you? Fortunately, there are those who can help. You know, I think we need to slow down, have compassion. Um, I think we have to not look to judge the book by its cover, um, to dig deep, to see what's all going on. Um, it may mean, you know, that you're not only just addressing that person's immediate needs for, uh, for clothing, for short-term shelter, but that you are addressing their long-term needs. Not, even, not one group or one person can solve all the, the myriad problems that are out there. We've got to work this together. How can this group help me do, do the thing that I can't do so well? How can this group help me over here? So that, that's the key. But the bottom line is, if you just lost your job, are drowning in medical debt, or contemplating leaving an abusive relationship, and are essentially one paycheck away from losing your home, you are also one paycheck away from becoming one of the invisible.